Good morning, and welcome to WMHS News. I'm Bobby. And I'm Etienne. How were your two days off last week? They were great. I had a lot of time to work on my part for the WMHS News Show. New broadcast news, we got a show to do. You're gonna follow those good leads. I see you broadcast news, the greatest story to choose. What's new broadcast news? What's new broadcast news? We'll report on every view. Swallow the train, I can't see. We can new broadcast news, we're always here for you. What's new broadcast news? Don't look back, you may find another clue. The Gavin Snacks will be waiting here for you. What's new broadcast news? Watch it on YouTube. Executive produced by Mrs. B. I see you broadcast news. The trail is back to you. What's new broadcast news? Na 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 Welcome back to school for seniors and freshmen who have chosen in-person learning. Sophomores and juniors will return next week. This Friday, we have a two-hour early release, so be sure to check out the schedule whether you are in-person or virtual. Highlander time will continue to be on Wednesdays and Fridays from 9.55 to 11.15. For the month of March, all students should remain with their second period class for the duration of Highlander time. The admin will be looking for feedback from students and teachers to determine the best way to conduct Highlander time moving forward, so feel free to share your ideas with your class representatives. For students who wish to participate in clubs during Highlander time, you may access your meetings virtually as long as you're not a distraction to others in the classroom while trying to work. So don't forget to use your headphones. Any student athletes interested in baseball this spring should join the Baseball Google Classroom using the code below. Email Coach Dowling if you have any questions. Hey McLean. This Thursday, field hockey plays T.C. Williams away, and football plays Washington Liberty at home. On Friday, volleyball goes against Herndon at home. Field hockey plays South Lakes at home, and football is against Washington and Liberty away. Starting the week on Monday, girls volleyball is away against Langley, and on Tuesday, field hockey is home against T.C. Williams, and co-ed golf is at Herndon Centennial against Herndon. In professional sports, last Sunday, the golf community came together with many players wearing red to honor Tiger Woods, who was in a car crash in California last week. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Will. Best Buddies is having a nationwide Empower Inclusion video challenge. If you would like to help McLean win, go to tinyurl.com slash Buddies and like the YouTube video. The McLean Student Art Project just unveiled a new virtual art show in honor of Women's History Month. The show aims to portray gender equality, celebrate women, and bring awareness to gender stereotypes and the objectification of women that still exists today. You can find a link to the art show in the description of this video. Follow the Visual Arts Department on Twitter to find out more about future shows and other events. Now to Farrah with World News. Hey McLean, it's Farrah with your World News. The single shot Johnson & Johnson coronavirus vaccine was approved by the FDA and the company has agreed to provide the U.S. with 100 million vaccines by June. Studies show that this vaccine is 66% effective. In Myanmar, police have opened fire on protesters protesting against a military takeover and at least 18 have been killed. This week, there were more than 400 reports of meteor sightings all around Canada. Trump hinted at his interest in running for president again in 2024, but denied rumors about creating his own political party. Brisbane, Australia is being looked at to host the 2032 Summer Olympic Games. In the Middle East, Biden takes his first military action with a Syria strike in response to Iran-backed militias that formed, and Iran has ruled out holding an informal meeting with U.S. and European powers on ways to revive a nuclear deal. Lastly, the virtual Golden Globes were held last Sunday, the 28th. That's all for your world news. Now back to your anchors. Looking to celebrate the cultures of McLean? Then International Night is for you. Join the event on March 5th at 7 p.m. for the 2021 Virtual International Night to enjoy singing, dancing, a fashion show, and more. Performers are needed. All the students interested in submitting a pre-recorded performance can do so through the link below. Service hours will be provided for all performers. If you have any questions, please email McLeanAAA at gmail.com. The digital version of the February issue of the Highlander News Magazine is available now. It features McLean return to school plans, students' secret crush confessions, and an in-depth look at how TV shows like Euphoria could be affecting you. 
To check it out online, visit thehighlandernews.com and click on the Issues tab. You can pick up a copy of the issue outside of room 133 next to the library or from the racks near the cafeteria and at the front of the school. McLean's new modular building is finally complete and WMHS News reporters were the first students to get to see what it looks like. Let's check it out. Over the past year, a new modular building has been under construction at McLean, and now it is reaching completion just in time for students to return to school. So this whole project took about a year. Uh, they started right before the pandemic started, kind of end of February, early March, and then they're just about finished right now. With uh, today's, you know, by, by the end of the weekend, we should be done. For many of you, these new modular units uh, hopefully will be an exciting change from some of the overcrowding issues and some of the older trailers that we have. I think the teachers and the kids are really going to enjoy it. I mean, it's basically just a, uh, a smaller version of a school. It's got hallways and bathrooms and uh, resource rooms and stuff. So I think the kids and our teachers are really going to enjoy it. Personally, um, I, I'm really excited about having a new space to teach in. Not only will it be, you know, an exciting new environment for us, but also for the students. And being able to kind of play around with that space is something I'm really looking forward to. And I'm kind of in that same boat. Um, I've actually been able to be teaching from the school and went out and saw the new modular units and like seeing what those classrooms look like. They're a lot newer and more updated than other classrooms in the building and um, have a lot of new newer features that you may not have in other classrooms. So I'm excited to be able to utilize those features, the help of teaching and the help just have a better classroom environment. Oh, I wouldn't know if it necessarily fixes the problem of overcrowding, but it gives our, you know, instead of the trailers, this gives our kids and teachers a nicer area to, uh, to learn. Having a larger space is gonna be beneficial for everyone, but because the modular units are larger, we'll have a little bit more room to kind of move around while maintaining that social distance. And I know that that's gonna be pretty helpful for us as teachers. And I completely agree with that. As uh, Mr. Tharp said, these rooms are bigger than other classrooms in the building. So it's gonna be able to allow for more freedom where we can still be socially distanced and follow the CDC guidelines, but be able to move around a little bit and interact in different ways than are possible inside the main building. Given the number of students that are coming back and the space that we have that we're all gonna be pretty happy with what the setup is. Signing off for WMHS News, this is Gavin Hoffman, Alex Liu, Jack Lowacki, and Ben Johansson. Wow, looks like there will be a lot more room out there this year. Now to Nico with the weather. Hey McLean, I'm Nico with the weather. It's looking more like spring this week, with today being partly cloudy with a high of 57 and a low of 34. Tomorrow through Sunday is going to be mostly sunny with highs around 50 degrees and lows just below 30. On Monday and Tuesday, it starts to heat up with highs in the upper 50s and lows around 40 degrees. That's all for the weather. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Nico. If you'd like to submit an announcement, use the form in the description of this video. Be sure to, sub to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow our Instagram for McLean updates and fun activities. Have a great week, McLean. Have a great weekend, McLean.